Hello guys, welcome back to Sholiver Celebrity News and Updates where we bring you the right update and all of what you will like to know. If you are new here or if at all you are just passing by for the first time, please take some minutes of your time to subscribe, like, comment and hit the notification button so that you will not miss in any of my uploads. Naomi Osaka is still frustrated and really devastated about leaving the Miami Open early but she also stressed that there were some positives and that she is now preparing for the clay court season and hopes to find some success there. In her seventh appearance in Miami, 26-year-old Osaka reached the third round before Caroline Garcia sent the Japanese home after a 7-6, 4-7-5 defeat. For Osaka, the defeat against Garcia was quite disappointing because she went into the game full of confidence and determined to get a really good result in Miami, having previously defeated Elisabetta Cachiretto by 6-3, 6-4, and had beaten Alina Svitolina 6-2, 7-6-5 in previous matches. After coming up short against Garcia in a close match that was effectively decided by a few points, the former Japanese world number one was brutally honest about how heartbroken she was over the loss. She said, It's extremely frustrating, and it's probably going to sit with me for a very, very long time, Osaka said after losing in the Miami third round, and also she admitted in the same press conference that, I'm not thinking positively about myself now. Five days after leaving Miami and taking time to reflect on and analyze her career in Miami, Osaka admitted she still feels devastated over the loss of five days, but refused to comment on the situation to be judged completely negatively. Honestly really devastated to have lost but extremely grateful and thankful for the support, it was so fun to play in an atmosphere like this again. I'm excited to see how far I can go and where life takes me, Osaka said in a message titled Thoughts Leaving Miami. I think my second match was definitely the best match LV played so far, and I hope I can play many more matches like that in the future. Hitting on clay now and it's different but fun, let's see what happens. It was announced on Thursday that Osaka had accepted a wild card into the main draw of a WTA 250 tournament in rounds starting April 15. For the 26-year-old Japanese, it is her first appearance at this tournament. Additionally, it will be Osaka's first appearance at a clay court tournament since the 2022 French Open, where she lost in the first round. In recent years, Osaka hasn't really played much on clay, having only competed in five clay tournaments since 2019. But this year that will change as Osaka definitely plans to play more on clay than the last few years. Before beginning her post-pregnancy comeback, Osaka hinted that her goal was to play more on clay and grass this season, as she spoke about her desire to continue to improve and achieve more big results. After Rowan, Osaka is also likely to take part in WTA 1000 tournaments in Madrid and Rome, before concluding her clay court season at the French Open. But before Osaka begins her clay court season and debuts in Rowan, she will make a brief stopover in Kazakhstan, as she will represent Japan in the Billie Jean King Cup qualifying playoffs on April 12 and 13. Thank you for watching to the end, if you have something to tell us about this video leave your comment on the comment section below. Your comments matters a lot. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video and share. See you next time.